Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and in this session, we will learn how to format date in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda, that is, how to format date in Excel. Now we might want to get back to the practical mode. So you can see on my screen, we are on the Excel spreadsheet and on my spreadsheet, you can see dates in column A and a different formats in column C, D, E and F respectively. Now by default, the data type or the data present in the A column will be considered as general. And there are a few situations where even if you try to format the date in your format, like you know the customized format you may not be able to do it because it's still under the general data type so for that for being on the safer side what we will do is select the data and navigate to the data toolbar and in that you have the text to columns option press that and remember to have the delimited icon you know you might be having the dash as your icon or slash as your icon for the delimited thing and select that and next next and here you can see right it's in general mode so you can press on date and dmi will be your date format that is date month and year now click on finish so it's been formatted now now let's copy the same data and paste it in all the four formats so that we'll see the different formats that we can change to or customize to right so there you go let's expand the columns a little bit now we have day month and year so now you might want to change a couple of things, right? For example, you wanted to change, okay, let's see the menu. So the way is to select the cells and right click and select the format cells option. And in here you can see the date function. And in here you can see different types of modifications that you can do to your data, right? So you might want to also change your dates based on the location. So right now we are in India. And imagine if you wanted to, you know, change something based on us or if you are if you are having your client in us and he wants the dates in us format you can also change that so here you can see english united states and press on that press ok and you can see it's been changed to us format where you have years in the first place months in the second place and dates in the last place right and now let us imagine that uh, your client does not want the dates all he needs is just months right you can also do that get back to the format sales option Go to custom and here instead of uh, you know uh, month date and year you all you can do is just write down month and year and select ok so you'll have only month and year not the dates now your client is being a little more you know he wants a little more detail and he wants you to add a lot of uh, granularity to your data which includes day time etc everything right so you can also do that so the same way go to format sales custom and here i think it's in date itself so let's navigate a little yeah here so you have the day date month and year press ok so there you go right so that's how you can do it and now let's try a little bit more if we have a few more options pending so go to format sales and custom and you also have timings so here you have date month year and the timings press ok and there you have all the timings as well so since these dates are you know i created them just a few moments ago to keep it simple so i did not have to add the timings here so if you are keen about adding the timings you can also do that for example if you wanted to add the timings of the employees logged in and logged out you can also do that using the same format so with that we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to format dates in excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.